What up guys, Raptorman2016 here. Had a couple of questions from a few subscribers that uh, they want to know how exactly I do my moto vlogging on the Raptor. So I'm going to take you through my setup. Um, first and foremost, you're going to need a rubber band or a hair tie. You're going to need this little mini USB extender. I bought this off Amazon for like three bucks and you're going to want to buy it like this. The other official GoPro one sticks out like way out to here and then I'm going to have to wrap it around. It just, it was way too much. This cuts down on the size and of the cord and it's actually going to drape around just like that. So you want to get this one. Like I said, uh, it's, it's a mini USB um, adapter. I'll leave the link for most of these uh, items. Um, hopefully all of them in the description so you guys can find them. Um, this is going to be, this is the boom. This is my mic boom that I use. What I basically did is I just took it off my son's Turtle Beach headset that you see back there. Um, it had a detachable mic, so I just took it off there. Um, you can actually buy these for relatively cheap. Any 3.5 millimeter mic will do. Um, but since I had this laying around, my son has a, a Beats headset, so he doesn't need it. So... I just went ahead and took this off there and another thing I bought just to make sure that I had the length proper and that I was going to be able to uh, run the mic to the location that I wanted I bought a 3.5 millimeter um, extender male to female as you can see so I'm going to go ahead and connect all these and get everything hooked up and show you how exactly I do it here we go Okay guys, I am back. I have it all connected and don't worry, I just washed the case. That's why there's water and condensation in there. Anyways, so you have the uh, USB um, adapter plugged in. I have it I have it um, tied down to secure it. That way it just isn't flapping at high rate of speed. Um, I have it ran on that side, as you can see. And then I have it going underneath my helmet and then the mic is actually ran right there as you can see now that is the exact setup that I use um, and you know you can probably use it for up top um, or wherever but that's just where I, I've been normally recording from that's my current setup but since the GoPro is only a one channel speaker system um, you're gonna have to do a little bit of editing in order to get your output speakers to um, have the sound come out both left and right speakers if you were just to record like this and upload it directly you're only gonna get sound out of one set of speaker or excuse me one side of your speaker I believe it's the right at depending on how you have your stuff set up so I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I do on the computer side so bear with me alright I'm back so you're, I'm in Sony Vegas now. This process is going to be different depending on what editing software you're using, but it's all real, really like relatively the same. So anyways, down here is my sound, right? And right now if I play the video, careful. A lot of people on these trails. it's only going to be coming out of one speaker, all right? So how you fix that, at least on Sony Vegas, you're going to right click, you're going to go to channels, um, this one's already edited, so it's not going to be there, but you're going to hit combine. Um, hang on, or maybe it isn't, let me see. Oh, here we go. You're going to hit combine. Now listen. Now it's playing out of that one and that one. So that's basically how I do it, you guys. Um, you know, uh, of course, not everyone is going to be, you know, having the exact same setup as I do but it works for me um, only thing that I'm really still messing with is the rendering and trying to get the god-awful YouTube because YouTube just butchers my quality like the quality that I'm actually getting from these YouTube videos is horrible compared to the raw file um, I'm trying my best to try new editing techniques I did record in 1440p that's why you see the black bars on the left and right so um, I'm still working with uh, running 1440p. I believe it's the bitrate. Like the higher frame frame size and resolution you upload to YouTube, the bigger bitrate you get, and uh, the more crisp and clear your videos are going to look. So I'm still experimenting. So if you wonder why certain videos are in 1080p, other ones are in 1440p, you know, and it goes back and forth, and it looks a little bit different than the last, it's because I'm still just messing around and trying to figure out the best render settings and to give you guys the best quality 
that that I can give you without, you know, obviously bringing it into my house and showing you the raw file and showing you how beautiful it looks. Anyways, this is Raptor Man 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, be sure to hit me up in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys. Bye.